Hi, and welcome back everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to very quickly and easily launch an EC2 instance on AWS, and then how to connect to your new instance on the terminal using SSH. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to aws.amazon.com. You can remove console here, but it will take you to your console anyway. And then you can sign into the console. If you don't have an account, you obviously have to make an account. So let's sign in. We're gonna sign in here and it'll take us to the EC2 dashboard, uh, to the AWS dashboard. So now we can either click on EC2 here if it shows it in recently visited, otherwise we can select it from services here or we type it in here. So we type in EC2, we click on EC2. And here, the first thing you'll have to do is decide what geographical region you wanna be in. So right now I'm in US West Oregon and I have an instance running, but we can also start a uh, launch a new instance by clicking launch instance here. And we're gonna call it tutorial instance two. I just made another one. We're gonna select an operating system. I like Ubuntu, so that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use Ubuntu Server 2404, long-term support. And the architecture I like is the 64-bit x82 architecture, so we're gonna stick to that. And as for instant ty instance type, this depends on what you need your instance for. So there's different computers with different, you know, amounts of memory, of CPU power, um, and so on. So if you don't know for sure and you just want to play around, you can use the T2 micro, which is eligible for free usage if you have a new account. You can also do uh, instance types. So this is if you just type in into Google EC2 instance types, this should come up. So it's aws.amazon.com EC2 instance types. And you can look at the different types. So we have a T2 micro and it'll tell you everything about the instance you need to know, but there's plenty of different types. As for pricing, you wanna to go to on-demand pricing. So EC2 pricing on demand. And here you can see for the T2 micro, for example, let's type it in T2 micro. Here it'll tell you the cost per hour of the instance running. So this is what you'll face. And then you can calculate how much that is per day or per month. But let's go back here. So we're gonna to stick to this because there's, it's free tier eligible and it's pretty cheap to run. And we're gonna create a new key pair. So let's click on create new key pair and we're gonna call it tutorial key. And it's gonna create a PEM file, which we can use in just a second. So create pair. It created a key file called tutorial key PEM. We're gonna use it in just a minute. And then we have to select some network settings. So we will have to at least allow SSH traffic in and at least from the IP from where you want to control the instance. So if you type, if you select anywhere, that's 0, .0, 0, 0 it means you can log in from any computer in the world using SSH in a terminal. If you want to run a website or a web app, you'll also want to allow HTTP or HTTPS, but we're not gonna do that now. And this is enough for my purposes. So a hard disk of eight gigabytes is fine. We're gonna launch the instance down here and it's launching the instance. So it successfully launched the instance. We can now click on instances here. And there's two instances, one I created before that says running and the new one I created now. So you see here, tutorial instance two, and it's pending because it's still powering up. This is the zone it's in, US West 2A. And this is the IP, so this is fairly important. Here's the instance type. To now log into the instance on the command line, we're gonna open a new terminal and the first thing we have to do is we're gonna we're gonna have to ch change permissions on the PEM file we just downloaded. So for that we you have to do sudo chmod 400. Those are the permissions we want for the file, and then the location of the of the PEM file you just downloaded. Type your password, and now we can do ssh minus i. Then again the location of the PEM file. And we're gonna type Ubuntu, PM, Ubuntu, that's the username for that type of instance, at, and then the, the IP of the instance. Type yes if it's asking, 
and and we're on our instance. So this is the instance we just launched on EC2. So you can check it out. This is where you are by default. You're in home Ubuntu. And you can see here, your username is Ubuntu, and this is the internal IP by Amazon EC2. All right, so that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. See you next time.